Hi YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. During this video, we're gonna tackle a furniture refinishing project. This week, you may have seen our video where we refinished a mid-century modern table. I really love the outcome of this table and I was lucky enough to be able to put together some pieces to create a second table set this week, but in a different style. We're gonna tackle a farmhouse table set today. The weather's super gloomy outside and it's looking like there's gonna be rain anytime. So we're working indoors today. We're gonna to get the tabletop sanded, paint the base a beautiful color, and we're going to black out all of the chairs. During the video where I had a trash of treasure where I found stamps and cash at the dump, I also found two amazing style chairs, which I painted black during that video. Oh my. What? Shut the front door. Oh, look how old it is. <laughs> I'm just here. Okay, let's take it to the truck. Oh my. Oh, those are adorable. Oh my gosh, they're in the second one of these chairs. Look. Lily. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's two of these. I hope the other ones aren't broken. Look at the lines on the back of the chair. That's cute. Oh my gosh, it's fine. Ah. I found two. <laughs> two is always better than one. Two is always better than one. I forgot my gloves in the chest. You want me to get it? Uh, it's okay, I'm just in the wood tile stuff. We see that. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You! Then I found four other chairs on the side of the road that I'm going to put together with those two chairs as the head chairs. While I was coming home from the grocery store, there these chairs were on the side of the road with an oval veneer table. I knew the table had so much water damage, I couldn't save it, but I definitely knew that I could salvage the chairs. My thought process was that these two black chairs could be the head chairs of the table and that these arched back chairs would be nice along the sides. That would create a six seated table set for me. In the shop, I've also had a salvage table with some really nice detailed legs and a leaf in it. So I know that I can put all of these items together to create a full table set. While I was at the dump that day, I found a couple of neat items that were this blue and white toll print. So I'm going to use these for a few things in this project. The blue on these jars actually inspired what I'm gonna do with this table set. I'm also going to use this wood salvage storage box. I'm going to begin sanding this table using a 60 grit rough sandpaper. I wanna get all the rough stuff off the top and then slowly gradually work my way down to a softer grit sandpaper. hours sanding the top of this table and getting the legs prepped for painting. Now we're going to apply our stain. I was inspired by the blue that I found on the glassware that I found at the dock and so I decided to make a farmhouse style color blue paint to do the base. I just used some leftover paint colors I had to make my own color. I like to use up any other paint that I have left over from projects and create my own colors. It's kind of part of the fun for me when I'm doing work. This table set would have been nice with a white bottom, but not everything needs to be white. So I like that this will be a pop of color on the legs of the table with the stark black chairs. I've let the stain onto my tabletop dry and I'm going to actually put a clear coat wax on it now. Sometimes I use a poly, but for this table, I'm going to use a finishing paste wax by Minwax. 
This is just a waxy paste that you're gonna rub on and buff on in little circles all over the surface. I like to use these lint-free shop rags. They come in a blue roll that looks like paper towel, just like this, for about two bucks, and it goes a long way when you're doing a tabletop. So I'm going to start applying my wax. So I just put a small amount on my cloth, and then I start working in circles all over the surface. Once I do a whole big section, then I take my clean rag and I just like to go and pull it in the direction a few times of the grain, just to make sure that it's all smoothed out and perfect before going to my next area. I decided to go with a pop of color with the blue on the legs of this table set. Being inspired by that pot really gave this a really classic look on the bottom. It ended up really giving the contrast that it needed with the black chairs. I decided to add just a little bit of distressing to the table legs to give it that farmhouse feel and I've now waxed the entire set, chairs and all. Big shout out to Firm Grip for giving me some great gloves that I can use in the shop. I will leave all of Firm Grip's information in the description box down below. I want to hear from you. Which furniture piece did you like better? The mid-century modern, the card will be up here, or this farmhouse style table? Let me know in the comments section. I know which one I prefer because I'm keeping one of these two tables for my home. Your silhouette cameo just came in and it's ready for its giveaway. We're giving away one of these in two more weeks. There's just two more weeks to enter, so head over to my Trash to Treasure number one video and leave me a comment there. I'll leave the card up here. You can support my channel by smashing that like button and hitting subscribe if you're not already a part of our YouTube family. Thanks so much for watching and for all your support. We'll see you on the next video.